Hi students and welcome to Career Kul, the educational guru kul. This video will be around 5 to 7 minutes. The basic question that we'll answer here is your interest. If your interest is in science, should you pursue B.Tech or should you pursue B.Sc? How to choose? What type of job will you do after B.Tech? Because waha pe fir satisfaction kam hone lagta hai student ka. If you are a kind of student who has really deep interest in science, he really likes science. So we will see your interest in this video if you are more tending towards BSc or B.Tech. The first, the first thing I would like to mention is our society expectations or how our society sees both of these courses. It is very unfortunate for students who are very good in science, who are good in problem solving, that society judges that BSc is a lower level degree and BTEC is a higher level degree. This judgment is so wrong because equally you have institutions who are giving very low quality BTEC and in BSc also, you have institutions who are giving very high quality science degree. Without science, there is no B.Tech. So the deeper part of Bachelors of Technology is science. So I've seen a lot of students who go into B.Tech and after two years, they are so lost. They lose connections, connection to their inner curiosity. And then they try to find out how to switch. And it is very difficult to switch. So it is very unfortunate that society thinks that B.Tech is a higher degree and B.Sc is a lower degree. Though job opportunities in India, in research and opportunities abroad can be termed as equal if we consider B.Tech all branches. Let us get into the first criteria for your interest that is here. So in B.Tech also, you cannot just choose by saying that I'll just do B.Tech. You have to choose a branch. Similarly, in B.Sc, you have to see that in physics, are you interested in astrophysics? Look into it. Are you interested in nuclear energy? Again, society will think that there are very few institutes for astrophysics. That is not true. There are at least 15, 20 institutes that are dealing in astrophysics. There are many institutes that are just dealing in nuclear energy. And these are very strategically important areas for the government. So this is very important part to be of if you want to go into higher roles of advisory to the government. And there are separate departments for atomic energy and for astrophysics. If you want to go into quantum or string theory, difficult parts of physics, but again, very interesting parts, that is the frontier of the current research. If you want to go into mathematics, mathematics will also get you into computer industry. Remember that this will really get you into computer industry. And if you have a PhD in mathematics with an application in computer science, you are much more qualified than a student who has just mtech cs remember that so if you have an interest in algebra graphs or computers or if you are you think that you are very good at problem solving maybe bsc is a good starting point for you compared to btech btech has many problems compared to bsc one of them is subpar educational institutes not only that combined with very high very high fees that is the problem and the expectations and the expectations only the niche get a job and the average and below average are left with nothing nothing so if you are going into a degree of if you are going into the branch of CS, EC or Triple E, we can still think, okay, that can get you a job. But if you are going into a 
branch of mechanical, civil and chemical. I would really consider, tell you to reconsider and see BSc if your target is a job. Because here also you will face a huge problem of low placements and combined with amount of money that you have already uh, spent. Okay. Second thing is exams. For BSc students understand that there is just one exam. There, it is not so. Even BSc in biotechnology can be a very good way of getting into good jobs. Exams like UGC NET, NBHM, National Board for Higher Mathematics and JEST. This will get you into such good institutes which are at research way better than IITs at times but we do not know about them. That's why student just runs after BTEC and a student who is interested in science in the later stages of life really feels frustrated when he has done that degree. If you look, if you look in the second part, you just have a gate exam if you want to do an MTech and nearly 10 to 20 percent of students who are doing BTech do MTech and nearly in every college for mechanical, civil and chemical, the percentage placement is nearly 50 percent itself with the starting salaries of nearly 3 to 5 lakhs, which is not enough if you look into the amount of money that you have spent. The further, now the further options reduce considerably. And if you are an intellectual student, if you are a curious student, if you have uh, a brain which is good in problem solving, you will really feel stuck here. Again, if we do MTech also and if you want to go into research, the research is very, very new. And the application or the develop, product development in India is low and the research is new. That is a problem here. Teaching. If you go into teaching, there are less facilities for research in colleges other than IITs. You will find very low research facilities. And in MTech without if you go into mechanical, civil or chemical, without equipments, which will cost crores of rupees, it is very difficult. And teachers also have reported to have low satisfaction when they are in teaching for mechanical, civil or chemical because of the students who come there with a prejudice that they just want to study to get a job and are not in the pursuit pursuit of knowledge or the truth which a science student should be. Thirdly, if we go into the institutes, I would really recommend to first go and check CMI website that is the Chennai Mathematical Institute website and look at their faculty and look where they have done their MSc and PhD and how many years they have spent abroad. Okay. So if you compare their BSc to a student who has done B.Tech, you will see that a student who has done B.Tech from a low grade college might never get an opportunity to go abroad. Whereas if you look at their faculties, their BSc colleges might be very low. But all of them have at least six to eight years of time spent abroad in number one institutes abroad. I would really recommend to go to Indian Institute of Mathematical Science website and also check what type of work they are doing in what subject of mathematics. You will be amazed and do look at the faculty and see how much time they have spent abroad. I would recommend to go to HRI website that is the Harish Chand Research Institute website of Allahabad and look at the work if you are interested in physics interested in atomic energy, nuclear energy, string theory, particle physics, condensed matter physics. This can get you a good 5 to 10 years of time to be spent abroad, which B.Tech degree from lower branches of mechanical, civil, chemical from a subpar college is really difficult. I really recommend to go to the JEST website 
and look into the Atomic Energy Institute, which is a very strategic part of the government of India to be investing in Atomic Energy Institutes. You should look into it. Third part, if we come here, if you do a PhD and a postdoc in mechanical, civil and chemical, when you return to India, you have to be a PhD on postdoc from top institutes of US to be a faculty in IIT or NIT, at least in IIT. But here, that is not the case. It is not that you have to be from the top institute of US. It is a little easier because here they have this whole culture of competing in international ranking systems. So they have to show that their professors are from the top US universities. So even if you do PhD and postdoc from abroad, there is, will still be uncertainty when you return to India that what will be your value. Here, if you do from abroad, there is no problem when you, when you return about your value because you will get a good job. Plus, your research, if you are an interested student, your research does not require that many heavy equipments until unless you are doing into deep physics. Okay, so it is much easier. Government job, if you look here, if you look into government jobs here, yes, you have government jobs in polytechnics, in polytechnics. If you look into the government jobs, uh, you have an exam called GATE, which will get you into PSUs. Yes, that is true. Here also, you have an exam, like not specifically GATE, but GATE PSUs also higher physics. But then here you have all aided colleges, all aided colleges, a huge range of aided colleges, which is government, whole range of state universities, whole range of central universities, where you can be in a government job and have your own research, which will at least get you a satisfaction of doing some work. Here you have Polytechnic, Gate, PSUs, you have IITs, NITs, and top private colleges like BITS or Thapar, BITS or Thapar, at least where you can do some sort of a significant research, but thus this research uh, might not have a direct industrial connection. You might not be able to use it into the industry because industries have their own research. But here, here industries do have a direct connection when it comes to computer science and mathematics. Physics, atomic energy will go into the government sector. So here you have IIT, NIT, top private university. This is much more difficult <laughs> when you compare to top institutes here. Then you have uh, government uh, jobs which is in schools, which is also the case here. You also have the government jobs in schools. And many students who have done BTEC are actually looking into uh, government jobs in school. And talking about faculty, BSc faculty at times in government colleges, state colleges might be culturally more inclined towards teaching then BTEC, MTEC students because their expectation was always job and the salaries which they are getting and the research and teaching is considered less in their mind and hence they do not teach well. So here also they look into schools which is a good area to go after this. I do not consider after looking at so many aspects which we have been looking for the last five years that BSc, MSc, PhD route or BSc, MSc, MBA route or BSc, MSc, MTech route. Yes, I would also like to inform you that you can, you can somehow join these two routes also. You can go from BSc, then you can do MSc, then you can also do MTech. This is one route. You can also do BSc plus MBA. Mostly the jobs and one more thing, mostly the jobs when we go to 
uh, lower branches. I am talking just about this. I have not touched this at all. If you are just going to jobs in lower branches, uh, these are managerial jobs. These are managerial jobs. So these for a student who is really inclined into problem solving or who is really curious, who really likes thinking, might not find them satisfactory. The only way out here which, to, which leads to a good job is an MBA degree which will get you to a good job. But that is also available, available here, which is also available here. You can also do BSc, MSc, which, is, which can be very cheap, which can be very cheap and which you can finish till you are 23, till you are 23. And then you can do an MBA. This will also help you. And if you are in this, if you have done in mathematics, and if you can do this in finance, this is also very, very good. This is also very, very good. So somehow you can also combine BSc, MSc and mathematics and get into the technical field. Similarly, if you have done B.Tech and want to jump into astrophysics or MSc, the exam that you can do is GEST. Or you can also go to private universities and do MSc mathematics or MSc physics if you feel really stuck. This critical analysis is very important because students who are really intellectuals, who have a deep knowledge or deep interest in science or mathematics, who are good in problem solving, and when they are doing subpar engineering, very low grade engineering colleges from mechanical, civil, elect electrical also included, chemical, they do not end with a job and they also kill their spirit of inquiry and of the search of truth, which they could have actually got if they have gone deeper into the subjects of BSc. So choose very wisely between these two uh, degrees because the society actually is prejudiced and biased because they are just looking towards a very very specific type of a job which actually is after an MBA job just they are looking there and the whole array of other things is being ignored. Thank you very much.